trains love them. While some countries cannot afford buying new transport and use the old and outdated one, Other countries replace old transport with the new one because they cannot afford using the old one. Yeah, I know, it's complicated. In both cases, the problem is that neither of both preserve the old nostalgic transport like steam trains. But there are very good exceptions in Europe. Let's explore together the best German historical trains and in this video we will travel together to Cottbus and ride Cottbus Park Railway together. Cottbus is considered the political and cultural center of Sorbs. Josepus is the name of the city in Sorbian. The use of the lower Sorbian language, however, is more widespread in the surrounding villages than in the city itself. Sorbs belong to the Slavic ethnic group that historically lived in these lands. Today Cottbus has almost 100 southern inhabitants. It's located 125 km from Berlin and it's even closer to Polish border. The historical city center is full of baroque town houses and it is very nice and cozy. Below the Oberkirchers tower there are lovely cafes by the street. These cafes sit among beautiful townhouses and fancy gable facades. Around the historic city center a new city has evolved. After the Second World War the city belonged to German Democratic Republic and you feel that instantly as soon as you leave the city center. If you take a tram number 2 from Cottbus Hauptbahnhof, the terminus stop is Cottbus Zando. You need a few minutes to walk over the underground passage under the railway and you reach the Park Railway Depot. Opposite to it is the railway station called Zandove Dreieck, where you can start your journey. The railway started its operation in 1954, but its locomotives are historical. At this board, the railway thanks for donations and informs that they renovated the steam locomotive that was built in 1895. And this steam locomotive was built in 1918 in Breslau, which is nowadays Polish Wrocław. Except that, railway depot houses more steam and diesel locomotives. Before you plan your ride, check the Cottbus Railway website, as steam locomotives are not operating every day. Most of the days diesel locomotives are operating here, which is of course a different experience than a steam locomotive. Besides diesel locomotives, there is even an ICE diesel train, you can see it in the photo. Park Railway works from April till October, consists of 5 stations and it takes around 40 minutes to do a round trip. In 2023 the daily ticket costs 6 euros, or 7 euros if you ride a steam train. You should buy a ticket at the station counter before you enter the train. And now let's enjoy the trip together on this narrow gauge railway with steam locomotive. This is the stop Stadion de Freundschaft, Stadion of Friendship. The 
The train passes under the bridge. And you see Spreeauwen Park on the right. Cottbus Park Railway uses a semaphore system. Railway goes along the Cottbus Zoo. You can see elephants on your road. The last station is Park and Schloss Branitz. From here you can reach Branitz Castle, which is around 15 minutes by foot. Besides the regular daily ticket, there is also a special ticket called Bahn und Plinze for 9 euros or 10 euros with a steam train. With this ticket you can go to Park Cafe, the railway stop has the same name, and enjoy a pancake or cake with a cup of coffee or hot chocolate. I recommend this option, it is very tasty. At the stop Zoo, you can get off and visit Cottbus Zoo. Adult entrance ticket costs 9 euros. Cottbus Park Railway is worth visiting, especially if you have kids, or if you just want to have a day trip from Berlin and experience the new adventure. In the next video I will tell you about another narrow gauge railway. 
Walt Eisenbahn Moscow is 20 km long compared to Cottbus Park Railway, which is only 3.2 km long. Stay connected. Please like this video.